Hi guys. Apple holds its worldwide developer conference which is also called the WWDC every year in June where they discuss all the software updates for the year. I have live streamed almost all of them since iOS 7 and I love it. I can barely wait for this year's conference on 3rd June to share with all of you. But a few days ago, Bloomberg reported a few leaks and rumors about iOS 13, macOS 10.15 and watchOS 6. That may or may not be entirely true, but I have a feeling that they're pretty accurate. I couldn't wait to tell you all about it. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is Tech Hunger and you're listening to Arjun Abrol. iOS 13 has been codenamed Yukon and iOS 14, which is also in the works, is codenamed Azul. But we're talking about iOS 13 today. So, let's begin. iOS 11 got a few new features to iOS, but it was full of bugs and slowed down the phone a lot. So to tackle this Apple launched iOS 12 with its main focus of crushing all the bugs and making it faster and they actually managed to do that. I was pretty impressed. iOS 13 for the second year in a row will speed up the devices and reduce bugs. But there's a big but here. It'll also have new features and changes that they actually originally planned for iOS 12. Now Apple is finally bringing the dark mode to iOS or at least the rumor is here again a system wide dark mode that you can enable from the settings and it'll help you reduce any strain on your eyes at night it also looks pretty awesome and we all know that's the only reason we want it apple is also testing a new swipe keyboard that android has since ages it might not release this year but it's being tested out nonetheless Another cool new feature that will release this year is that the iPad can be used as a second Mac screen. So you will have the ability to draw with an Apple Pencil right on your Mac or you can have an expanded viewing area for the Mac. You can also get all your Mac notifications on the iPad. iOS 13 will also get a parental feature that limits the kid to contact other people at a particular time. So if you wanted your kid to not be able to contact anyone but you at night it will just be a few taps away personally that's kind of restrictive and i wouldn't advise that for anybody but they're bringing the feature now many of you might not know this but ios has an undo feature so if you type anything wrong or if you delete anything wrong you can just shake your phone like a maniac and everything will come back i mean it will get undone well you can now use gestures to undo or redo just swipe left on the keyboard or right on the keyboard respectively there are times when you increase or decrease the volume and there's a pop up showing the volume bar and it blocks most of the screen it's really annoying sometimes well there's no more pop up in iOS 13 just like the YouTube app the bar will probably be on top or somewhere that doesn't block your view They're also going to bring snooze notifications, so you can snooze a notification for five minutes, ten minutes, one hour, or a day. I think I'm going to use that feature a lot. iMessage is going to get updated finally. They're going to allow you to set a profile picture and a display name, and choose who sees it. You'll also be able to send sticker versions of animojis. They're also revamping the Reminders app, the built-in Mail app, the Health app, and the Apple Books app. The help app will have a new home page that will better outline your daily activity. So, it will also give you a tab that has hearing health on it. I was confused what this means, but apparently it means that it will tell you how loud you play your music on your headphones or the loudness of your external environment and it will tell you how it's harming your ears. The books app will encourage users to read more by some sort of reward system. I don't quite know how it will work, but that's what's happening. There's also a rumor about how Apple will let you update their stock apps through the App Store so you don't need a major iOS update to actually get the updates. I don't know how true this is, but let's see. Moving on, we're going to macOS 10.15. So for the first time, Apple will let developers of iPad apps to rework their apps easily so the software can also run on the Mac. Now they did this in macOS 10.14. for their own apps where they got the home app and the stocks app right from the iPad onto the Mac now they're going to allow third party developers to do so so apple is planning to bring over the podcast app separately from the iPad onto macOS so now you guys can hear me every day there will also be a new apple music app which is separate from iTunes so you don't need to open iTunes and again and again just to go to apple music let's move on to watchOS 6 
Apple is also adding the App Store directly onto the Apple Watch. So it makes the Apple Watch more independent of the iPhone. Right now you need to download apps through the iPhone which is a tedious task and I don't know why they've done that. There'll finally be a voice memos app and a calculators app which is going to be really handy. Pun intended. Also they're going to get an Apple Books app which will let you hear audiobooks on the go. A lot of new watch faces are going to get added like a gradient watch face where you pick a color of your choice and it will give you a gradient watch face of that. Another few extra large faces are going to be added where they're just going to be huge fonts and colors of the time or whatever you choose on your watch. A California dial is coming which looks like a classic watch. I'm really really excited for this. It mixes Roman numerals with Arabic numerals. It's going to look amazing. Another redesigned solar analog watch is going to come where they will put a sundial on the face of the watch. A new infographic subdial is going to come. It includes a larger complication view of the stock market or the weather. Well, those are most of the significant changes that I thought you guys would love to hear about. That's all for today guys. Catch you in the next one. If you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts, please rate and subscribe. Please check out and follow my Instagram handle which is tech underscore hunger. You can also DM me for feedback and reviews and I'll surely get back to you and love to improve podcasts that I make for you. Thank you for listening.